welcome back to watch mural channel so today i'm going to be doing a halloween makeup first up let's back it up a little bit so i am shay i am the cooker behind the scene who makes all those dishes for her family i'm a busy busy mom i um, work full time and i make sure that my family has a home cooked meal and i try to do different stuff because i get bored of the same thing eating the same foods over and over and over again and i just like to challenge myself a little bit on the types of food that i cook time for makeup so for this video i will be doing uh, my face into like the day of the dead makeup and right now i'm just putting on some moisturizer this moisturizer is from clinique um, it's the day moisturizer. It's a little small one that I purchased from their um, sale. Uh, oh yeah, I am a sale shopper guys like any sale my name is on it Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put on my moisturizer guys Once I get the moisturizer on and again, I'm not a makeup artist But I look forward to doing my makeup on um, Halloween and I, I try my thing, you know, but if I have something special I do go to um my local makeup artist in Toronto the one that I really like um, is Bella MUA. Um, so she's really good. And there's quite a few of them. But that's the one that I went to. And she's really, really good. Like she does makeup good. But I'm trying to thing every um, Halloween. I do my makeup. So I really look forward to this part. So now I did put on my NYX um, HD Studio Photogenic um, Primer Base. Now, once I get that on my face and it dries a little bit, I am going to go a little bit backwards by putting on the set before, like the set it, you know, like your translucent powder. So I'm going to put that on first before putting on my, um, my foundation. So just a little bit, not much. You could do a, a, a um, white translucent powder, but this one is a little bit colored. It's just going to keep my face a little bit cool while I have on the makeup so once I get on my um, translucent powder I am going to be adding on my foundation so I am using Huda and this is the one that I'm using here okay that's a translucent powder and now I'm going to be using um, Huda Huda Beauty and this is Toffee 420G So now if I'm doing like a makeup to go on the road or whatever, I usually mix this with um my Laura Mercier um, Sun Tan, I believe it's called. It's called, yeah, Sun Tan. So I usually mix them together so that it gives me like a perfect blend because I really don't like when um you see the makeup and your face looks so orange or so much darker than your body, even though it may look flawless. But I just like when it blends properly with um, your skin tone. So I always mix my makeup. But I'm not going anywhere. This is just Halloween makeup. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But I still want it to look good, right? Okay. So once I get on my Huda. And that was just one pump. Like guys, you don't need a lot of makeup. Unless you're doing a lot of coverage. And there's this girl I follow too. I think her name is Uma Bell on Instagram and she she is so bomb at putting on the makeup and she has like um blemishes that she covers up and one pump I see her use and it covers up really well so if you don't really have much blemishes I really don't think you need a lot of makeup to be honest and again I am not a makeup artist so this is not like professional tips this is just my personal opinion so once I get that on, I am going to put on some glow. This one I got from my local drugstore from Shoppers Drug Mart. And it adds a nice little sheen under. And again, we're doing Halloween makeup. Oh God, is it finished? No, it's so much in there and it's still taking so long to come out. Okay. 
just going to be using see it comes out like this yeah okay so I'm just gonna put some on the side of my face not much put some on my nose here so I'm going for like this nice little shimmer look and of course Halloween makeup you're gonna see this guys I'm gonna transfer them real quick <laughs> so once you get your glow in I'm gonna just dab it in I don't want to rub it in too much yeah let's dab that bad boy in okay so I have a nice glow underneath because not all my face I'm gonna be covering so I like to work from top of my face to bottom so now what we are going to do is draw a perimeter and I am going to be using my black eyeliner to do that and also some black um what is it called gel eyeliner yep Okay, so I'm going to show you as well what I'm trying to replicate. I'm not going to do it 100%, but I am going to try my best. Because again, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I am going to just draw a perimeter on my nose because all of this is going to be covered um, black. And I'm going to go in with my um, the gel black liner. Okay. All of this is going to be black. Maybe I should just draw flowers. We'll see. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's it supposed to look like that, guys? But don't worry. Your girl know how to fix up things. Yeah, yeah, it's a little slower thing here, so don't worry. Fix up this thing good after. And guess what, guys? It's Halloween, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect one bit. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go in. On my eyes right here oh Jesus yes my eyeliner just broke let's fix him all right that should be good it's a cheaper brand in the um drugstore like for this i am not like um looking for like perfection if you want like a nice gel eyeliner um the one that i use is kat von d and it's not even like a gel like this it's like a um pencil i'll show you it after and that one honestly i got it as a sample from sephora and they love it I really really love it I think it does a good job when you want to make those perfect um, wings or whatever those um, makeup artists call it like I take my hat off to them because they're so good at creating art on the face like I really really like how people just transform like it's crazy I don't know okay so my nose is covered in yeah okay guys so the same um what's this called brush that i was using <laughs> to do the red i'm just gonna put a little bit of red hues like just just here just a little bit and then even here as well 
not much just a little bit just to finish off the makeup I hope you guys really like my look. I hope it doesn't scare anybody. But it's Halloween. That's the point. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. And stay tuned for my girls makeup. Hey guys. Welcome back to Watch Me World channel. So the girls faces are all done. I don't know if you guys could tell who Gigi is. Um, she is it. Is it it? <laughs> the clown, right? From the one Pennywise. who ate Georgie. Pennywise. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it is the movie. <laughs> and then Bria, she is a heart-based emoji. And of course, you guys know I am doing the Day of the Dead makeup. And that is in the beginning of the video, you'll see. So now it's time to do our jack-o'-lantern. So we'll get right into it. Yeah. We are going to carve our pumpkin. Yes, so, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow's Halloween. Yes, it is. So we're getting everything ready for Halloween, guys. So they already drew their faces, what they're going to be carving out. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. That's Gigi's pumpkin. And Bria, show them yours. Okay, and this one. And here's my pumpkin. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like, you can see a little yes, bit of it, right? Help you. Okay, so guys, so before we go ahead and start, what we did here was, um, I'm going to just reposition um, the camera so you can see directly what we did on the countertop, just so that we can keep it clean. There we go. All right, so mommy's just gonna help you guys. Nope, mommy's gonna help you to carve it first. So you can go low, Bria. I'll, I'll do the scratches at the back first. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and start. Careful, Bria. Now mommy's gonna help you to start carving. I don't remember the last time I ever carved, carved something. Oh, God. Hi. Uh, this is just another. What does it look like? The face is coming. Hands. But this one we'll have to do. I, to I can't to wait do. to put my jack o' lantern lights in there. Right. Getting these gooey stuff out. Today. Oh, And so Gigi's working on her pumpkin right now and while she's working on the pumpkin we are going to make the cupcakes right uh -huh. okay so we're gonna be using Betty Crocker brand and this is the white cake and which one is that Gigi um, Bria this is the cream cheese cream cheese yeah the cream cheese cream icing is very yummy mm -hmm. so usually I use the clubhouse um, Food coloring to change the color just one or two drops but I find that the colors aren't as bright so I am gonna try a new um, 
food coloring which is called Wilton's and apparently this one is supposed to be brighter it's a gel type of icing so we're gonna see the results um, after using it I did purchase a separate one too this one is black because I wanted to get that black color for Halloween and what are we going to be adding on to our um, cupcakes, Bria? On our cupcakes, we're going to be adding on chocolate and these. And what are those? This is ghost chocolate and this is edible stickers. Well, these are the molds for the ghost yeah. chocolates, right? And then here are the chocolates. Yes, so those are the um, candy melts that we're going to be using. It's white chocolate. And yeah. you're going to be uh, seeing how it works out and then putting these in the freezer to uh, make our ghost molds. So this one was $1.99 at Bulk Barn. It wasn't bad and just wanted to do something fun with the girls. So that's what we're going to do. And we also have these um, sprinkles which are like black, orange, and white. And they have like little ghosts in there too. So we're going to be doing that. And these stickers are very special because... You can eat them. So once they go on the cupcake, we're gonna eat it too. What else we're we gonna put on our cupcakes? What else we're we gonna put on our Oh cupcakes? we have gummy worms too to go on our cupcakes. Just a few. We also picked up from Bulk Barn. Can't go wrong with these. So stay tuned to see how we decorate our cupcakes, guys. Okay guys, so we just finished melting the chocolate and the consistency is really good. Like we've tried it before. And we've been doing it wrong for the past time. You have to actually change the level of your microwave to 50% and then um, melt it for one minute. So it's really good and it's time for us to add it in the mold. My daughter is like, can't wait to eat it. Okay guys, so this is the mold. We washed it and um, now we're going to just add the chocolate into each slot and shake it down and put it in the freezer. Okay, ready? So... Let me put it now. down. Hold on. Yeah, we have to go change the. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put it flat. Just wanted to show you guys how it is. Okay. Mine's a ghost. So we just finished making our chocolate. And they're out of the freezer now. So mm -hmm. what am I gonna do? So we're gonna see if they turn out good or bad. Okay. Right, so and then you can show one. everybody oh. all your um the colors. So this is the green yeah. that we're gonna be using. Yeah. And we're gonna be using some orange mm -hmm. and some black icing, which is kind of mm -hmm. like a dark gray. So okay. let's see. Ooh. Ooh. So I wanna ah. taste test out it. Ah, some of them are coming out. Okay, let's see. I don't think that mine okay. was close to pepper. I Hey guys, so it's time for us to make our Halloween cupcakes. So girls, they've separated theirs each. I think they're doing three each. And then I'll do the bulk of it. Um, but they're going to decorate it in their own styles. So just take a watch. So what's your design about, Gigi? Worms crawling up. Out of the cupcake, like. Okay, there we go. Mm. And then we also have the chocolates. I don't know. Okay, you want me to do icing for you or are you doing it yourself? I'm gonna try and do it myself. Mommy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mia. And mine what is, is yours about, really Bria? Here, on mine, is, mine is about a, a bull who died in 1819. Wow, very specific. <laughs>
Okay, guys. So, this is the end result of our cupcakes. I'll go first. Go ahead. This so, this cupcakes. is Gigi's creations and they're falling off. That's why I wanted to go first. Ooh, there we go. She put some gummy worms on it and some white chocolate. Ghost. And how about you, Bria? So, about the cup... Sprinkle attack. Yeah. But also about the cupcakes were free bowls with dyed. So I wanted to make this like a cupcake where it supported them. Okay, good job. And then here is mommy's. I'll show you everybody's now. Kind of. These are the end results. Of and results cupcakes. are like really yummy. Mommy did a lot in not a very long time. Yeah. And then we had this end result cupcake while we just put something we have in the shop. And then also, this is the end result of our jack o' lantern. Here's my jack o' lantern. So we did put a candle inside. That's why you can see it glowing. And this is Gigi's here. They're buddies. So guys, because this is a real pumpkin and a real candle, we're only showing you how it looks when it's lit up. We are going to be blowing out the candle because right. there's yeah. still some guts inside and I don't want any fires. So, or yeah. for it to bake inside of the um, pumpkin, to make pumpkin fire, right Bria? So we're yes. going to blow it out now. There we go. We have a strong All right. Bye. So this is the end result of our video guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching our video. Watch me we watch had me. fun. We had fun. Yeah, and we're all ready for Halloween. I hope you guys have a fun and safe Halloween and try Ooh. to do something inside where you know you're not um, exposing yourself to COVID-19 because it is serious. Okay, guys, so yeah, we had fun making the video. Enough about coronavirus. It's on a happier note. How would you rate this activity? I would rate it a 100 out of 100. Okay, there we go. And how about you, Gigi? 10 out of 10. Okay, so Gigi's all bummed and tired. So, we are going to sign off. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe, subscribe if you want more of these videos and press the notification bell so we know that you support us. Yeah, and, and comment down want. below guys. Let us know about your um your thoughts on our video and any more ideas what we should do in the Watch Me World Kitchen. Sign in on.